Begin by finding a position for your body that feels comfortable for you. Maybe it's sitting on a chair or on a cushion. Maybe it's lying down. In any case, allow your body to get comfortable. Choose the posture that would feel most comfortable for you right now. And allow yourself to settle into that. And notice what that posture feels like for you. In particular, if you can feel the comfort in your body from that posture. Perhaps at the places where your body is supported by the ground or your cushion or your chair. Maybe there's some comfort there. Being supported in your body. If you find that there's any comfort in your body, take the time to really enjoy that. Very good. Now, notice if there's any tension in your body, anywhere that your muscles are holding tightness or tension. And invite those places to let go of that tension, to relax. Perhaps your face or your jaw, your shoulders, your arms, your legs. your hands, your stomach. If you find that there's tension or tightness anywhere in your body, that your muscles are tight, invite those places to relax, to loosen, to let go. Relax your body. Those places may or may not be willing to relax. They may or may not be able to do so, but you can invite them to relax. Give them that opportunity. To whatever extent your muscles relax, notice that and really enjoy it. Enjoy the relaxation, even if it's small. Allow your body to be comfortable and relaxed. Enjoy any pleasure that comes with that. Taking care of the body, getting comfortable and relaxing. This is already a kind of metta practice, a form of self-love to get comfortable and relax and to really enjoy that. Loving your body in that way. If at any point you become uncomfortable, or your muscles tighten, 
You can return to this place by becoming comfortable once again, changing your posture, or by relaxing your muscles as many times as you need to. Very common that muscles will tense up and then we can relax them again and then they'll tense up again. We just relax as many times as we need to. Take a moment to become aware of your whole body, to feel what your body feels like right now. Imagine that it's like you're a pilot preparing for takeoff. You're checking the status of the different subsystems. What's your body feeling like right now? Give yourself a little report on what your body feels like. So for me, I feel some pain in my knee and a heaviness in my stomach and a vibrating feeling around my arms and some warmth in my face. See if you can feel your body and give yourself a report like that about what's happening right now. What do you feel in your body? Become aware of your body. Give yourself a report about what you notice. There's essentially infinite details that you can become aware of in your body about what kinds of sensations you're experiencing, where they are, whether they're pleasant or unpleasant or neutral what the shape of these sensations is, how fast they're changing. So much detail in the body. See if you can become aware of just a little bit more detail in your body. Get curious about your experience. As you feel and explore your body, no limit to how much body awareness we can have. Continue to be aware of your body for just another moment.
Very good. Now, there's a number of ways that we can categorize or break down different kinds of body experiences. See if you can become aware of your emotional body, of any emotional experiences that might be present in your body right now. And to begin, it's helpful to limit your body awareness to the center of your body, your stomach, your chest, your neck, your face. Often the emotions are centered in this region, from the face down through the neck, through the chest, all the way down to the stomach. And they can kind of emanate out from that area into other parts of the body, but they're typically centered there. So see if you can zoom in to what's happening in that region of your body. What are you feeling there? And are there any emotions that you're experiencing? Take some time just to feel that region of your body and to notice what emotional flavor there is present there at this time. You don't need to mentally understand what's happening. You're just looking to see what's there in your body. Feel your emotional body. Continue to be aware of this region of your body and any emotions that you might be experiencing. And without leaving that body awareness, the awareness of your emotional body, see if you can put words to what you're experiencing emotionally. And you can just take a guess if you're not sure. Some good words to start with are, I feel happy, or I feel sad, or I feel angry, or I feel afraid. But you can say any word that feels like it might match your experience. And if you'd like, if it feels safe, if you're in an environment that will allow for this, you can actually say that phrase out loud, whatever it is that you're feeling when you have a guess. For example, I feel sad. Saying that out loud. If it doesn't feel safe to do that in the environment that you're in, you can just whisper it to yourself or say it under your breath. But if your environment will allow, if you feel safe doing so, it's very helpful to actually say this out loud. Whatever it is that it seems to you that you're feeling. 
I feel happy or I feel angry or whatever resonates for you. Continue to have this body awareness. Take a guess as to what you're feeling and say that out loud or under your breath. Speak to your emotional experience. As you say that sentence out loud or under your breath, notice how that affects your emotional body. If anything changes in your body as you say that, is there any kind of response or resonance? Or does it fall flat without any change? Often there's a response or the resonance in the body when we speak to our emotions, when we say what we're experiencing emotionally. And we can watch for that by being mindful of our emotional body, noticing if there's any sudden changes, any response or resonance. Basic strategy here is to feel the emotional body, to take a guess about what we're feeling, to speak that out loud or under the breath if we can't speak out loud, and then to notice how that affects the emotional body, if there's any response, any resonance. Whatever feelings you're experiencing, whatever your emotional experience is right now, really welcome that. Really allow yourself to feel whatever it is that you're feeling without pushing it away, without making it bad. Any emotion you're experiencing is just fine, very normal. Rather than denying or disapproving of our emotions, invalidating them, we welcome our emotions, allowing ourselves to feel whatever it is that we're feeling. Even if it's uncomfortable, It just is what we're feeling right now. And we accept that and allow it.
Feel your emotional body. And speak to your experience. Feel your feelings. As we do this, all kinds of responses are possible in the body. There might be a kind of recognition or resonance where it's as if your body says, yes, that's what I'm feeling. Thank you for acknowledging me. It jumps, delighted at being acknowledged. That's certainly possible. It's possible that the feeling will intensify. And for example, you are moved to cry. Totally normal. It's possible that there'll be the opposite of resonance where your body says, nope, that's not what I'm feeling actually. Good guess there, but that's not it. Try again. So then you just try again, see if you can discern with a little bit more accuracy what you're feeling and see how it responds to that. Or maybe your emotional body is just quiet, not much happening, neutral, silent, no response. Also totally normal. Just continue to feel what's present in that region of your body, even if it's subtle or quiet or there's not much going on. Knowing that you're developing the ability to become attuned to your experience, your emotional experience, just by practicing. In any case, allow your emotional body to have the experience that it's having right now. There's no wrong answers, no wrong emotions to be experiencing. It just is what you're experiencing right now. Allow and welcome that. In a moment, we'll transition to metta practice from this place of having felt our feelings and expressed them. But it may be that that doesn't feel like the right thing for you right now. And if so, you can continue to feel and express your feelings or do anything else that you like, any other practice you're familiar with, or even take a break knowing you can always return to meta practice. But if you'd like, you can begin the meta practice by bringing a gentle, easy smile to your face, using the body to incline yourself towards happiness, having honored and felt whatever it is that you're feeling today. And for a few moments, bring to mind your 
easy to love person or animal. Someone that's relatively easy for you to feel love for, real or imaginary, near or far. Whoever it is that resonates for you, bring that person to mind. Wish them happiness, wish them love. Whatever way feels good for you, perhaps using mental images, memories of them being happy, that sort of thing. Or perhaps using phrases like, I love you, or I care about you, or something particular to this person and your relationship with them. Allow yourself to bring up a sense of goodwill, love, and care for your easy to love person or animal. If as you do this exercise, you notice any feelings of happiness or love or care or affection, notice what those feelings feel like in your emotional body and allow yourself to really enjoy them, to savor them, to soak them up, even if they're small. Really enjoy it. Feel that love. Notice what it's like for you to do metta practice after having taken the time to feel your feelings, to honor and respect and express whatever your emotional experience is. Does it feel any different to do metta practice with that preparation? Take a moment to consider and reflect. Very good. And at your own pace, whenever you're ready, you can come out of the meditation.